Hello friends, this video on Amines part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll talk about diazonium salts. So what are diazonium salts? Diazonium salts, they have the general formula of RN2X. So if you see, the word came from, if we break this word, di means 2. Azo, azonium came from this word azo8 first. Azo8 means nitrogen. That means there are two nitrogens. And onium means ammonia. That means there's a compound with two nitrogen, but whose property is resembles whose property resembles with ammonium salt. It's ammonium, not ammonium. Correct. So something with two nitrogen and whose property resembles with ammonium salt is diazonium salt. It's in the formula is R2. R and 2X and this X can be chlorine, bromine, HSO4 minus, BF4 minus, etc. Correct? So that is the typical formula R and 2X where X can be chlorine, bromine, HSO4 minus, BF4 minus, etc. And how this word diazonium salt came? Di means 2, azo8 means nitrogen, something which has two nitrogens and whose property is similar to ammonium salt. So you want to name this as a name salt. What we can do is they are named by suffixing this word diazonium to the name of parent hydrocarbon from which they are formed that is this R followed by name of anions such as Chloride, hydrogen sulfide, etc. For example, I'll show you some example. Correct. This is derived from benzene. This is derived from benzene. So the name will be benzene. Followed by this word diazonium because this is diazonium. So if you see this part is called diazonium N2 plus use this word diazonium and then I have a chloride so, chloride correct for example let's suppose I have C2H5 N2 plus Br minus this is ethyl ethyl diazonium bromide correct actually it can be ethene Ethane diazonium bromide. Let's take one example. We have let's suppose this is H5 N2 plus HSO4 minus. So this compound will be what? Benzene is the parent hydrocarbon. Benzene. Then we have diazonium. Diazonium. And HSO4 minus is hydrogen sulfate. So this compound is benzene diazonium hydrogen sulfate. Correct. So it's pretty easy. The first one is the parent hydrocarbon from which it is derived. Then use this word diazonium because N2 is there. And followed by the name of anion. 
cis chloride, hydrogen sulfate, etc. So in this, I am using chloride because I had a chloride ion. I am using bromine, I have bromine ion. This is hydrogen sulfate because it is a hydrogen sulfate ion. Let's talk about the stability of diazonium salts now. So primary aliphatic amines, they generally form highly unstable diazonium salt. But the aromatic one, the primary aromatic ones, they form stable one. So you see, aliphatic will form unstable and aromatic will form stable. Why? Because of resonance. And they are stable for a short time in this solution at the low temperature. It's almost 0 degree Celsius. Even if you increase the temperature to room temperature, it decomposes. But it is still stable at a low temperature. Why it is stable? Because of the resonance. I'll show you. For example, this is my plus, right? This is my diazonium salt, right? With N2 Cl or something. N2 plus and Cl minus. This is my diazonium salt. Like, let's draw the resonating structure for this. So let's move this electrons here, move this electrons here. Nitrogen. So this bond breaks actually in negative and positive. It's a double bond here, no, it's a triple bond. This is negative, this is positive. There are already one positive charge here, and this bond breaks into <coughs> negative and positive. This positive and negative will form a bond and this double bond here. So you can just remove these and you get this. Also, if you see, now it will move in this direction. So you will get something like this. Okay, it will move in this direction. You get something like this. Again, you will get this structure. So there are so many resonating structure, <coughs> and with these structure, because this is the output. Actually, this is my arene diazonium salt and with this aromatic diazonium salt are little stable and that to at low temperature almost 0 degree celsius for a short duration of time but primary aliphatic amines are very very unstable let's talk about the method to prepare this diazonium salts now generally we take aniline here C6H5NH2 and this will react with my nitrous acid that is nothing but NaNA2 and HCl combination right this is my nitrous acid almost 0 degrees Celsius 0 to 5 degrees Celsius low temperature so this will give me C6H5N2Cl and NaCl gas and water. This is if you see benzene diazonium, diazonium chloride. And this reaction is called diazotization. Correct? This is called diazo. Tization, tization actually. 
Correct. So if you see, this is my benzene diazonium chloride. This is unstable. As I told, it is unstable, and this for a short duration of time, it exists at a low temperature. That's why it is generally not stored. It is freshly prepared when needed. Correct. This compound, benzene diazonium chloride, is unstable. It is short-lived at a low temperature, so it is not stored. It is prepared when needed. Let's talk about the properties of benzene, uh, sorry, diazonium salts. They are colorless, crystal-like solid, like sugar. You see, this is my benzene diazonium chloride. This is colorless. crystalline solid again think of sugar it looks like almost like sugar this is soluble in water right it is stable in cold water but not in warm water if you see we have told 0 to 5 degrees celsius it is stable but if you warm it also it reacts it decomposes also, it decomposes easily in dry state. Correct. That is my benzene diazonium chloride. But if we talk about benzene diazonium fluoroborate, that is BF4 minus, this guy is water insoluble. and it is little stable at room temperature also correct so this was for my benzene diazonium chloride and this is for benzene diazonium fluoroborate so fluoroborate is water insoluble diazonium chloride is water Sorry, fluoroborate is water insoluble and benzene diazonium chloride is water soluble. That is first thing. The benzene diazonium chloride is stable at a lower temperature, maybe 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. But benzene, benzene diazonium fluoroborate is stable at a room temperature also. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.